So Justice Apps come in a sort of wide range of different categories and it might be helpful to think about it in the context of a framework I often use to describe technology in the justice uh, sector. And usually I try and divide up uh, technology in terms of supportive technologies, replacement technologies and more disruptive technologies. And just to explain, Justice Apps are applications that assist in relation to all three levels. So you can have justice apps that are quite simple and quite primitive and are much more focused on either providing information or in some circumstances beginning to populate forms and they could be classified as supportive. And then there's the generic apps, of course, like Zoom, uh, which really are helpful in the context of supportive justice applications. 